God to feed my lamps family We are a family Our hearts are bound together in love We are a family oh, oh, oh. Heart to heart, face to face We are a family Saints, my name is Eve Tepwana Shemberekwa, a Form 3 student at Tria Adventist High School. I'm going to say a sermonette entitled The Joy Said Before Us. But before I start, I'm going to sing a song. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the features doubt and storm. What tides of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease, for every sin on him was laid. Here in the love of Christ I stand in Christ alone who took on flesh fullness of God in helpless babe the solid rock and righteousness scorned by the ones he came to serve still on that cross where Jesus died the lamp of God was sanctified 
for every sin on him was laid here in the love of Christ I stand what tides of love what depths of peace when fears are stilled when striving cease my comforter my all in all here in the love of Christ I stand now joy takes us from where we are and focuses our minds unto God when we look in this world a lot of things are taking place but this doesn't mean that the Lord is not preparing for the joy that is said before us I'm going to illustrate this in a story people were standing on an island but two men were also there now a certain captain came and tried to serve the people but these two men were left behind the promise that was left by the captain was I'm going to come back and take you home some other day. Now one of these men was so, so tired of living on the island. So he decided that he was going to make a small raft and go to the family. Now just after a hundred meter sail, he drowned. This other man left on the island was left with the promise that the captain is going to come and take him home this other day. So whenever he lived on, an, on the island, each and every single day, he would always see new things and discover new things on the island. This was the only thing that was able to ring in his mind that someday the captain is going to come and take him home. Simply because of the joy that was set before him when he went home, he had to live and endure the loneliness on the island. So this other day, he heard a voice calling him at the seashore and he came out, he saw the captain and he was very happy. He returned home with the captain and was living with his family happily. Now, what lesson do we get from this story? The Lord was able to endure pain, suffering, beatings on earth simply because he wanted to save us from sin. Now, as Christians, we have to go along this journey. Sometimes we might face challenges whereby we are not even able to think about the solutions we are not even able to think whether we'll find the solutions out of the problem but let us always remember that one day the Lord is going to come and take us and we are going to meet the joy set before us in heaven as learners sometimes we come to school we don't even understand what teachers are teaching us but this is just for a little while there is joy that is set before us in heaven some other times as families we have misunderstandings our parents fight sometimes we even see that divorces end up happening in families but this is just for a little while there is joy set before us if the lord was able to endure the pain the suffering in order for the joy that is set before us then we also have to do the same so that we can enjoy it beautiful homes are being made in heaven golden streets are made in heaven we all have to walk on them simply because we would have found victory in Christ. Amen. Good morning once again, boys and girls. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I brought my friend. Hi, Lala. Say hi to the boys and girls. Okay, Lala wants to play. Lala wants to play. So we'll let Lala play a bit. So today, Guess what we want to talk about? We want to talk about a dog. A dog like Lala. There we go. There we go. Lala is on a roll. So, this is what's going to happen. A long, long, long time ago, there was a dog that lived in a place far, far, far away. Like Lala. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to stand up with Lala and we're going to give him a bit of a chance. There we go, Lala. Let's go. There we go. And can you see Lala is now standing. And now what used to happen is 
people in these places would listen to what everyone would do. Jesus took a walk one day. And while he was taking a walk, a woman came to him. And this woman came to him and said, Hey, 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 my daughter is not well. My daughter is not well. And then the disciples there were like, What? Why are you busy bothering him? Go away, you're making noise. Jesus, ah, tell her to go away. And then the woman said, No, 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 please help my daughter. She's not well. By the way, by the way, this woman, she was, from a, she was called a Canaanite woman. A Canaanite woman. Now, these Canaanites did something very strange. They worshipped idols. They worshipped idols. Do you know what worshipping idols is? Ha, ah, there goes Lala. Bye, Lala. Okay, Lala still wants to play a bit. So, they worshipped idols. So, this fine day, this woman comes to him and says, Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, please, please help my daughter. She is possessed by demons. And then, Jesus then said, Ha, listen, we cannot waste food and give it to these dogs. And then the woman was like, Oh, hmm, did you know what? Even the dogs feed from the crumbs that come from the tables. Just like Lala here. You see, Lala is nice and big and healthy. Now, Jesus was happy because of what the woman had said. Why was Jesus happy? Why was Jesus happy? Guess what? We are going to learn a bit of Hebrew. Tsa bare kahim. Yes! Tsa bare Kahim. Now, what does that mean? The woman here was using what people during those days thought about. Now, this is what it is. When you visited someone's house, like when we come to your house, we won't go straight to the kitchen or straight to the lounge. We'll go straight to the dog kennel. Why? Because that's where we are going to see how good you are. What does that mean? When we get there, We'll see how healthy your dog is, like Lala here. Nice and healthy. You see, nice and healthy. So it means I'm a good master. That's why Lala is all over me. But if you're a bad master, then the dog would be lean and thin and ugly. So, Tsa Barei Kahim means you understand that the master takes care of his dog. Now, there were two types of dogs during that time. There was a dog called a paria dog. Now, a paria dog is a dog like Lala here. Well taken care of, stays at home. Then there was a kunaria dog, all over the place, runs all over the place, runs all over and takes care of its own self. So, when the woman said, I know that the master will only feed their dogs. What she was saying was, the people were going to say, what sort of a master are you if you can't feed your own dog because I am yours? So listen, boys and girls. Listen, boys and girls. Tsa bare kahim. We all need to understand that Jesus is our master. And if he is our good master, we listen to him all the time. We listen to him how many times? All the time. Tsa bare kahim. When we listen to him, he'll take care of us. Just like that good master taking care of his paria dog. Boys and girls, remember, Jesus wants to be your master. And will you be his good dog that you always take care of? I think we all will. So, let us pray. Unfortunately, remember, hmm, Lala doesn't know how to play, remember, he's just a dog. So he's going to be playing around as we play. But you are going to put your hands together and close your eyes as we pray. Let us pray. Dear Jesus in heaven, thank you for this beautiful lesson about a dog. Now, can we always remember to be your dogs? Always be good and allow you to take care of us as your master. We thank you for hearing our prayer 
And we thank you for answering our prayer and always being our master. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello everyone, my name is Enoch and I'm going to recite Psalms 91 to you. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I'll say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I'll trust. Surely He'll deliver you from the snare of the fowler and the pestilence, and cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you'll find refuge. His truth will be your shield and your buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall on your side, a ten thousand on your right hand, but it shall not come to you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked one. For you have made the Lord, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall come to you, no, evil, no plague shall come near your dwelling. For he has set his angels charge over you to keep you safe, lest you dash your foot against a rock. You shall tread over the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent shall tremble under your foot. For he has set his love upon me, and I will honor him and set him on high. He will call me and I will answer him. I will be with him in time of trouble. I will honor him with long life. I will sanctify him and show him my salvation. Thank you. Yeah.
are the Feed My Lamps family. We are a family. Our hearts are bound together. And